Good morning, Trinity. How are you? Yep, so glad to be here today. Um, hope everybody's good. You know, this, um, it's so glad to be here. Uh, today, I'd like to bring up a, a devotion to you. It's uh, the the title is Adulting Now and comes from the passage, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, um, verse 20. Brothers and sisters, do not be children in your thinking, rather be infants in, infants in evil, but in thinking be adults, or another translation says, be mature. Notice the word um, adults and mature kind of interchange there. Well, before I begin, I just wanted to invite you to our service. Uh, it will be broadcasted this uh, Sunday at 1030, I believe. So join us with that. And also I have for those of you with children, I have a um, Sunday school lesson based on our lectionary on Lazarus story. And that will be premiering on both YouTube and Facebook at 830. So please join us with your children on that. Well, um, did you hear about the young man who was interviewed last week on NBC News? Well, at the time, Florida, Florida then shut down the beach. So there were a lot of young adults flocking to them for spring break. The news reporter caught up to a group of them and asked if they knew the dangers of spreading the disease. And one youngster said, if I get coronavirus, I get coronavirus. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. He said he waited too long for spring break. Well, that was on March 18th. I happened to see that little clip on NBC News. I knew he was a young man, so it wasn't expected. But he kind of shocked me with his cavalier remark. I thought, I know you think that, but don't broadcast it, okay? Don't let other people know. Well, as it turns out, his name is Brady Slutter, and li he lives in Ohio. And he must have gotten a lot of grief because his interview went viral. On March 25th, exactly a week after his remarks aired on national TV, he issued an apology. This is what he wrote on um, Instagram. I would like to sincerely apologize for the insensitive comment I made in regards to COVID-19 while I was on spring break. I wasn't aware of the severity of my actions and comments. Like many others, I have elderly people who I adore more than anything in the world and other members who are at risk. And I understand how concerning this disease is for us all. Complete 180 degrees from what he said seven days before. I don't know all the flag pressure he was under or shaming he got from his friends, family, and strangers. It must have been a lot, right? Whatever he must have endured during those seven days, I think it was worth it. He matured real fast. As young person might say, he's adulting now, right? Now, my question for all of us is, how is this crisis helping America to mature? Are we more compassionate? patient, kind, long-suffering, humble, grateful, thoughtful, or sacrificial because we're going through this? Or are we more selfish, impulsive, emotional, bitter, complaining, and anxious? Well, Reddit is a site many people use to share infos and opinions. There are a lot of topics on this site, and they're called subreddits. 
In doing a little research on Mr. Brady Slutter, I came upon a subreddit topic called I'm adulting now. It describes itself as a subreddit for people who are actively trying to be more of an adult. It can include tips, victories, and questions. It was created on July of 2015 and as of yesterday had 41,000 members or close to 42,000 members. Well, I almost fell off my chair reading some of the comments. I know it's supposed to be tongue in cheeks, but still I was taken back. One of the comments said, what are the mandatory things adults need to do? It says, in the, it says example, taxes, and that's all I know. If, if, if you could be so kind and try to list as many as you know, it would help me greatly. I'm trying to understand how to live in the world independently. Thank you in advance. There's so many. It doesn't stop there. Another comment says, should I turn off the water before I leave the house for an unknown period of time? I know it's not to be taken seriously, but what if these people were serious? I couldn't believe that there are 42,000 members who are in serious need of advice about turning off water before going on a long trip. Maybe that explains why the list of shortage items at my local supermarket keeps growing despite the fact that the government, the supermarket themselves, the suppliers, and the news agencies are insisting that there are plenty of supplies. A couple weeks ago, the shortage started out with toilet papers and masks. Then they ran out of paper towels and meat. After that, basic basic things over basics like over the over the counter drugs like Tylenol and allergy medicines went out. Well, yesterday I went to the store and found half of the candy shelves were empty. I was told that beer sales are all time high except for one brand. You guessed it, Corona beer. I have no idea the type of immaturity that links the coronavirus with Corona beer, but there you go. But nevertheless, I have hope. Like Mr. Brady Slutter, America, after thoughtless and reckless several days and nights, will wake up sober and in a somber mood. It will say to itself, you know, it was really immature of me to be impulsive, emotional, and selfish. Maybe I should think about the greater good than just satisfying my own desires and needs. Maybe I should be adulting now. Then the crisis will go away and we'll be in a better much better place. Well, I hope you do that. Um, hey guys, uh, good to see you guys. How you doing? Hope everybody's fine. I'm doing well. Any prayer requests? Well, like I said, um, <clears throat> hope we grow up really fast and. Um, that we get, we, we, the America that we know of the immature past is becomes mature and um, we become adults. I'm sure I am, right? Um, well, so glad you could join us. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for all the ways you are protecting us, guiding us, and leading us through this crisis. We, we have no idea how to go through this. But Lord, we trust in you. We are, we are heads are bowed, our knees are bent, and we cry out to you and ask you for your guidance, not just for individually, but as collectively to, to the leaders of this nation and of of the world, God, that we could go through this without people getting hurt and causing the minimal damage 
and preparing for the best. We pray for those who are lonely. We pray for those who are in danger. We pray for those who have no what to do. We even pray for those who are selfish and acting only for their only on their behalf. We pray for all of us, God, because you are God whose love and mercy. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, we'll pray for calm. Please, um, thank you, Doris, for that. Um, well, join us this Sunday at 1030 for our wonderful worship. Um, we'll be glad you'll be there. Thank you.